Meantime, this extremely dangerous superstorm has the potential to shut down New York and other big cities up and down the East Coast. Emergency officials are scrambling to make sure preparations are in place. 375,000 residents around the city live in these low-lying potential flood zones. Now, right behind us, you can see the water right now is calm, but when Sandy comes through, it wouldn't take much for the water to come up over these they said she'll be here only for a couple of days. I had to stand up, look her in the eyes and tell her, get the fuck out of my face. What makes you think we want you here? Sandy. you think we want you here want you Andy. they said she'll blow you away this won't be like the last time this won't be like the last This won't be like the last time This won't be like the last time, time. time. They said she will blow you away Worldwide picture which will show you This storm is basically one of the largest we've ever seen in the Monday Wind field from this storm is incredibly impressive We've got tropical storm force winds a thousand miles across in this storm and hurricane force winds about 200 miles across. It basically means it doesn't matter where this storm comes on shore for anything other than a storm surge, which is expected to be about four to 10 feet high. Governor Cuomo has declared a state of emergency in preparation for Sandy's impact. And Mayor Michael Bloomberg warned New York City residents to brace themselves. This won't be like the last time. This won't be like the last Coast communities going on the offensive, building sand walls, securing property, and stocking up on supplies as the superstorm closes in. Certainly having lived through it, lost everything in my basement, I had ten, up to 10 feet of water in my house, this is a concern. New York residents are once again bracing for the worst. Damage from Irene topped $14 billion, and Sandy could wreak even more havoc. They said she'll blow you away.